Here's a uh, Herbert Herr Cuckoo Quail Clock. And I want to discuss a few things on this clock. First of all, the Minute Arbor has got um, four pens on it that trips the quail. And here you can see the pens that I'm talking about. The, those pens lift up this lever, which in turn pushes this lever to activate the quail. If this lever is not bent enough, then this lever will not come out of this cam. So, as I turn the, the great wheel, I'm going to turn the minute uh, pinion here, which will turn the minute arbor, and watch what happens to the quail. Quail comes out. Uh, let me do that again. I might have it to turn it around a couple of times because I think the cuckoo is in its mode. And I might have not, I might have, I think this pant, this rod here got bent too much. So I'm going to activate it while turning the great wheel for the quail to show you what's supposed to happen. And that's the problem. I was turning the great wheel the wrong way. This rod here is attached to the uh, quail bellow. So it's going to go really fast. And the number of sequence. And then as it did its thing, it lifted up this lever to activate the cuckoo. Which this lever is attached to this lever here to activate the cuckoo. So if I was to lift up this lever, getting my fingers out of the way, you can see the cuckoo in action. But when you set up these uh, these count wheels, you want the count wheel, this lever right here, to be as far to the left in one of these slots on the count wheel. Um, in fact, it, as you can see, I need to move it over a notch. You undo this screw, you lift it up, out of the way from this pinion to put it over a notch and the reason why you do that when it comes time to activate the 12 let me see if I can get over there if it's not set up right it won't activate the 12 12 31 and 130 position properly because each one of those slots drops for the hour and then if I press it again it's for the half hour so when you get over to the widest slot which is for the 12 12 30 one o'clock position which is this slot right here 
if it's not positioned properly and that's why you want to do a function test to make sure it properly works if it works in this position properly it'll work it should work on all the other positions okay it just struck 12 there's 1230 there's one there's 130 that's two o'clock 230 so it's it will work fine um, but I prefer to when I set these up it don't matter where you set it up at as long as you make this lever touch the far left side of this wheel getting back to the uh, the uh, quail side of it as I turn the uh, minute wheel there's the quail coming out going back in quail coming out doing this thing going back in so if your quail is not coming out there's a couple of different things that could be happening this lever here is not hitting those four pins that are on the on the minute wheel this lever here okay this lever here might not be bent properly if I was to bend it out like that so now it's not bent properly when I turn the wheel the minute wheel and now it's not able to activate the cuckoo I mean the quail or the cuckoo because this arm here is not bent properly enough to touch this arm on whatever bird you're working on so I got to bend this down some and the best way to bend it down is to hold this lever in position as you bend it So now it's touching it again and now when I rotate this uh, wheel it should activate the, the quail but it's not touching enough because it's not if I was to manually do it like this it, it does its thing but it's not bent enough because the quail is not coming out. So I need to bend this rod down even more. And see what happens now. I still don't have it bent down enough. And let's see what happens now. Again, I don't have it bent down enough or or I'm pushing the wrong way. Let me push the right way there. It's bent down enough. The uh, 
the hammers the hammers need to go up so high and there's a lever inside here that catches the uh the the pin on the wheel and so if your hammer you see the the you see that lever moving if the uh if the hammers don't go up enough it's because you need to bend this lever inside here to get the hammers to go up high enough same way on the cuckoo side you can see the lever inside there and it's going to hit those pins that are on this wheel and so if the hammer doesn't go up enough you have to bend that the lever that's attached to this gong um, down to hit these pins Uh, this is a modern uh, cuckoo clock, cuckoo quail clock. You can see it has two pins on it, which causes this lever to go up. Therefore, it'll cuckoo on both the half hour and the hour. The older antique cuckoo quail clocks only got one pin on this wheel so it only cuckoo on the hour. I hope y'all enjoy this video. God bless.